So after a fresh call manager install, you're going to see this warning. No backup device is configured. This is required to recover your system in case of failure. So that's definitely something you're going to want to take care of. Um, and uh, so what you are going to need first is an SFTP server. So this is something that you can just install on your local um, machine um, if you're just running you know, VMware Player or something like that. Um, but I have a dedicated Microsoft server and it's nice to keep these services separated from my local machine that I'm working on. So I'm gonna go that path. Uh, you can get it for free from SolarWinds. I will put this link in the description. You'll have to fill out some information and they will email you an installer link. So once you got that, you can go ahead and start the installation. I already have mine right here. I'm going to agree, install and just let that run. Then really all you should need to do is make sure that there's binding to all local IP addresses unless you only want to use you know one specific IP address. Um, but I would just leave it like that and then we are going to have to create a user. And I will go ahead and put mine in and click apply changes and okay and if we go to the tray down here we should be able to see that it is running so now we are good to go over to call manager and uh, create the backup device so we will go over to call manager and we need to go to does, up here at the top navigation click the drop down and disaster recovery system and click go and here uh, you can't use the platform credentials, you need to use the OS credentials. So when you did the installation, you probably had to do um, two sets of credentials and this would be the first one. Okay, then we are going to go to backup, backup device, add new. And I'm just going to call this a lab SFTP. And, and the IP address of my server is 10.0.0.5. So that's what I will put in there. Okay, and then we got the path name. So I don't want to dump everything into the root folder because um, I'm probably going to add more devices. So that would uh, get messy real quick. So if we go into SFT, the SFTP configuration, um, let's see, it will show us where these files are going. Um, so I'm gonna open File Explorer and go there. And I'm gonna add a new folder called CUCM. And right here, I'll add forward slash, and then CUCM. And then I'm going to put in my credentials. So these are the credentials you added to the SFTP um, configuration. And I'm just going to keep number of backups to store on network directory to two, and click save. Okay, and as you can see, I am at the Add Successful screen, but quick note, I did have some trouble. I had to go into my firewall on my machine, so I went into Windows Security, and I had to um, allow an app through the firewall. So firewall and network protection, allow an app through the firewall. And then this popped up, um, and it's in alphabetical order. So if I scroll down, I will, yeah, right there. So SolarWinds SFTP server. However, this wasn't in the list. I had to do allow another app right there. And then I went to browse and I went to this path right here. Um, basically uh, program files 
and then I found uh, um, solar winds right here clicked on that and clicked open um, and then after that I was able it it only took like a second um, to add the device um, I did have a couple times where I clicked save and hung there for probably like a minute and then said unable to access the SFTP server make sure your credentials are correct or something close to that um, but I knew the credentials weren't the problem it was the firewall so if you're having a problem with that make sure that it is allowed through your firewall so now I'm gonna go to backup and scheduler I'm gonna want this to run daily so I'm gonna click add new and we'll just call this daily choose the device name I just created I'm going to do CDR and UCM and start backup on 21 it is I actually want to start this on the 4th um, and I would like to start it at let's say 3 in the morning so it's military time so 3 in the morning is going to start and it's going to run daily so go ahead and click save okay then I'm going to enable schedule okay so that's ready to run daily automatically but I want to make sure that it's working so if I go to backup manual backup choose the backup device both of these and start backup I want to test it and it's running so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause that and let it run because this is probably gonna take I'm not sure how long it'll take since this is just a lab call manager we'll see but I'll pause it and resume it once it's either failed or succeeded and it worked so I got logged out hold on back on my server if I go to that TFTP root or SFTP root I'll see that I have my backups in there so it was a success now um, we should be able to run a restore if that was necessary and this is useful to do as well um, for your lab because I haven't tried it in this version but I know in previous versions you could restore to a certain point so once you have everything set up and say you still have like 60 days left in your trial you can restore back to that point and it will go back to 60 days left in your trial rather than having to start all over again um, once your trial period runs out um, thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions and if you liked it please hit like and please hit subscribe thanks